Oneida County not spared by the nonstop rain. Swollen creeks, rivers, flooded roads and yards. Yep, yet again, News Channel Line's Madison Moore spent part of her day near Rome, town of Lee, where homeowners there are assessing the damage that's been done. Russell Hayes says when he walked outside, his front yard looked like the movie A River Runs Through It. This whole side of my house and the neighbor's house looked like a river running right through it. Him and his family tried their best to keep the water out, even plowing a trench to divert the rapids. But it wasn't enough. Started coming into the house, up into the uh, finished basement, um, and up through our sump pump. Then it started coming up through the shower. The homeowner tells me that this is the most water they've ever had in their basement. At the height of the flood, there was at least two feet of water throughout the whole entire basement, causing thousands of dollars worth of damage. And it's been hours since they've been pumping out the water. And you can see here that there is still about eight to ten inches of water left in the basement. Going to the thousands because um, the basement's going to have to be, a lot of it's going to have to be redone, and a lot of furniture down there is now destroyed. Hayes and his family aren't new to tragedy. They lost their family home to a fire in 2012, and since rebuilding their property, it's flooded three times. Cried. It's because a lot of, a lot of damage and a lot of money in this house. Um, and it's just, it's heartbreaking. But for now, they're focusing on what they can control. Just move forward. It's all we can do. Pick up and move on. Coming together to rebuild yet again. In the town of Lee, Madison Moore, News Channel 9.